Judy Batista, my compadre from the NFL Media Group, tweeted out again earlier. We want to read that, Chris? Yeah, so this morning, Judy tweeted out, I'm told a number of members of the competition committee are uncomfortable with the roughing the passer calls, particularly Clay Matthews and the Vikings game. There is a committee call next week. Members are unsure if anything will change this year. All right, and my uh, my stellar colleague from the NFL Media Group, Judy Batista, calling in right now. Judy, um, what do you, wh I guess, what do you mean by that? <laughs> so let's start up macro here about that um, tweet. Uh, I think the competition committee probably is seeing calls made that they did not anticipate being made and that they don't want made. Um, it's probably happening much more frequently than they ever anticipated. And they don't like it, um, especially that the Clay Matthews one that really started, really kickstarted, I think, the controversy, um, because that, that call changed the outcome of that game. There's no question about it. Here's the problem. They have a regularly scheduled call next week. The question is, can they change anything um, or can they instruct the officials to call it differently? The problem with that is it's a player safety related issue. Um, and it's tough for the league to walk anything back that's related to player safety. So they're going to have to make a decision uh, about what they can do. Uh, you know, we saw something similar happen with the helmet rule in the preseason where it was called a ton those first few weeks of the preseason. And then they said to the officials, you know, don't call incidental contact, just, you know, call stuff that is more straightforward. And then you saw the number of calls go way down. So the question is, can they do something like that? Can they, you know, can they say to the officials, look, don't call anything but the most egregious situations of a defender landing with his full weight on the quarterback? Uh, we'll see. But again, it's delicate because it's a player safety issue. Yeah, sure. Uh, I, I just played a couple of sound bites, one from a first ballot Hall of Fame quarterback who admitted he is the beneficiary of rules protecting him and his position and his, his, right. his, his if you will, uh, advanced age and longevity in the game is proof maybe of the rules working. Drew Brees thinking it's gone too far. Travis Kelsey saying that lockstep, everyone in the league thinks it's gone too far. Alex Smith himself said that Clay, Tom, the Clay Matthews hit that he took was not appropriate to be flagged. So wouldn't you think that the league and the competition committee has wiggle room here to say, we've heard you? I, I do think there is wiggle room. I agree with you. I think there is enough wiggle room that they can, again, say to the officials, call only the most egregious one where the defender is clearly landing on purpose on the quarterback to drive him into the ground. Not the kind of thing we saw with Clay Matthews, which is, you know, a straightforward sack, a, a tackle, but a tackle exactly the way you want it, not leading with the helmet. But, you know, it just so happens that his body, you know, lands a little bit on the quarterback. I do think there is enough wiggle room. Um, I, I, the other thing to keep in mind is the reason they want to protect quarterbacks so much, um, maybe to the exclusion of other players. Yes, it's player safety. It's also, let's be honest. Fans want to watch star quarterbacks. They don't want to see Aaron Rodgers go out with a shattered collarbone and miss the rest of the season. They don't want to see injured quarterbacks. They don't want to see backup quarterbacks. They want to see quarterbacks. One thing to keep in mind, scoring went down last year. Very unusual in this era of high-scoring games. Scoring went down. That was on the minds of the league. Mm -hmm. They don't want that to be a trend. Um, it's important to know that this was a point of emphasis. The landing with the weight on the quarterback rule has been on the books since the 90s. This was just made a point of emphasis this year, and the reason it's a point of emphasis is because at the end of each season, the league sends out a questionnaire to its teams and says, what do, what do you think we ought to be looking at? And one of the things that came back as what teams wanted them to look at was weight landing on the quarterback. That was because of what happened to Aaron Rodgers last year when a defender landed on him, drove him into the ground, and the collarbone broke, and Aaron Rodgers was gone. So that's why they took a look at it. That's why they made it a point, point of emphasis this year. It's all joined in. It's all knitted together. Um, it'll be interesting to see what they come up with next week. Or, you know, there's a league meeting in October if they revisit the rules then. Um, but, again, it's a, it's a tough balancing act. I assume Roger Goodell will have some say in, in what the outcome is. Yeah, so last one for you, Judy. Is is the the league is willing to wait till next week's call? I mean, they're willing to go through another week where where um, a, a call like this might affect a win-loss like it did in week two between the Vikings and the Packers or in the case of William Hayes, I've got Adam Gase on tomorrow's show. Uh, 
where mm -hmm. a player gets hurt trying to avoid putting body weight on a quarterback? It certainly seems that as of this moment that they are willing to wait for next week. Don't forget, there's also internal communication among the officials with the officiating office. So they can do something informal uh, without making it a formal public statement. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and, and, you know, I'm sure those conversations go on constantly. But as of right now, this afternoon, uh, it seems like they are willing to wait. But look, it's early in an NFL week, Tuesday afternoon, early in an NFL week. So certainly stuff can happen between now and Sunday. Judy, thanks for the call. We'll chat soon. My pleasure. That's Judy Batista of the NFL Network, NFL Media Group. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.